There are all kinds of interface devices out there on the market, all the way from low introductory ones up to ones that cost thousands of dollars. And when you're a beginning musician, it is really hard to choose a great product and not you know, break the bank at the same time. Now, personally, one of the reasons I've used Mac for a long time is I love Universal Audio products. I love the Apollo. Before the Apollo, I had different products from them and they've always been my favorite. But one thing about them is they've never really worked in the Windows world. They've always been a Mac-based thing. Well, now they've got new products that have come out. They've had that one, that, that pre, the, excuse me, the predecessor to this particular one, it was a USB 3 type product. A little bit buggy with some stuff. Sometimes it worked great, sometimes it didn't. There was a lot of dropout and stuff, so I was kind of like, mm. Now, this particular one is the Universal Audio Arrow. Now, the Arrow is pretty much an entry-level product, and it works with, guess what, both Windows 10, but it has to have the update, the anniversary update, or it won't work, just to mention that real quick, or it works with a Mac. So it works in either environment, and this particular product is actually going to lead into another video where I build a system that's completely PC and completely dedicated to being my DAW and recording music, which should be pretty cool. Now, this little thing's about 500 bucks, 24-bit, 192 hertz recording ability, has really solid DA and AD converters inside of it. Everything really quality about this, but the really cool thing that I think about it is when you buy it, you get a bunch of plugins right off the bat that are actually worth more and cost more on their site than the, the device itself. So as soon as you buy this device and you install it on your computer, you'll get all this access to these different applications, which are pretty cool. And you can plug your guitar and it's got guitar emulation, it's got delay, all kinds of nice stuff. And if you wanna build upon your library, you can do it. And if you decide that you really like this particular product, you can always upgrade it to another one. So, okay, so enough fun facts, let's unbox this. The front of the box is pretty simple. You get a picture of the device, telling you it's the Thunderbolt 3 from Mac and Windows, Universal Audio. All right, that's all there is there. On the back side, it's just basically telling you that you're getting a bunch of plugins for free when you buy this. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second though. But that's pretty much all there is to the box. Now, inside the box, pop open the cap. We see the unit itself. We'll pop that out of there. Now, one thing I'm gonna complain about right off the bat though, and this kind of made me kind of angry is, it requires a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Well, it doesn't come with a Thunderbolt 3 cable. You have to buy one. I mean, that's kind of silly. They should have included that. So the unit itself and this little getting started guide thing right here, this is really all that comes inside the box. So it's a very, very bare minimum. You know, good thing is though, you don't require a separate power. So that's kind of cool. So you don't have to worry about your power or anything like that. So here's the unit. Go ahead and just peel this little tag off of here. Oh, weird sticky stuff right there. Ugh, some weird sticky stuff. All right, there we go. From the unit, <laughs> it's flow to the floor. It's pretty funny. So, okay. Right here are all your meters for checking everything out when you're working. Very clearly easy to see. Single knob here. All of your controls are down here. You can choose your input, choose different things. You preamp your monitor. On the front, you have your headphone jack, your input jack. Also, inside powering this unit is the UAD2 Solo processor. So there's a single processor inside this unit, which is probably why it's under $500, because the next one above it is about $900, and that's their twin. So this particular unit looks really nice, nice and clean. You guys can see that. Simple inputs. On the back are your two mic inputs, your stereo output to your speakers, the Thunderbolt cable. And like I said a minute ago, it's really cool. You don't need a separate power. You'll get all your power right through the Thunderbolt cable. So no other messy cable will be lying around. One thing that's really cool, like I said at the beginning of the video, is right out of the box, you get a bunch of analog emulator plugins, including the world's only authentic Teletronics LA-2A. You also get the 1176 LN, a bunch of Pultec EQs, and you also get the Unison enabled UA610B tube preamp. And online on their website, you can expand your library of plugins just massively. I myself own almost every plugin that they have. I've been collecting them over the years, and it really makes a great recording studio when you have these plugins. For guitarists and bassists, Arrow includes units and technology on its front panel instrument input, giving you access to amplifiers like the Fender 55 Tweed Deluxe, the Ampeg B15N bass amplifier, Eden WT800 bass amplifier, and now it even includes the Marshall Plexi Classic. And all these plugins work at near zero latency, so this is really good for songwriting and for recording. 
If you're wondering if this particular unit will work with your computer, well, it works, like I said before, with both Macs and PCs. It does need a Thunderbolt 3 cable that they sell separately, which is kind of a bummer. It requires Mac OS 10.2 Sierra or 10.13 High Sierra. It requires Windows 10 with the anniversary update, that's the 64-bit edition, it requires 6 gigabytes of storage, and it's actually recommended that you have a quad-core i7 or better processor. Even better than an i7? The future. You'll also need an internet connection so you can download the software and authorize all of your UAD plugins. Okay, so not a lot in the box. Really, there's not much because you download pretty much everything off of the internet. But the device itself is very solid built. It's not going to break on you. Has just enough connections to be simple. I mean, let's just face it. There's not much on it. Those two XLR ports on the back. You've got a single entry, single out on the back, and stereo for your speakers, plus the power through the Thunderbolt. I mean, there's really not a lot to the unit. Like I said before the very beginning of the video, I'm a fan of Universal Audio products. I just am. I've been using them for years. And I can't wait to build this PC and see how well this works in the Windows environment. Because if it works great with Windows 10, I'm going to be a very, very happy camper. I'm going to tell you guys you'll be seeing me come back doing the full review on this product and talking to you guys about that. Now, there are a few things that I have heard and which I expect to run into. Um, there's not a whole lot of processing power inside this compared to like an Apollo because there's only like a single chip inside of it instead of a quad chip environment. So when you're doing a lot of virtual instruments and stuff like that, you may run out of power with this particular unit. And that's something I'm expecting to run into. But here's the thing always somewhere there's a sacrifice. Now, if you go out and you listen to any of those Focusrite products or any of those other products, Motu, any of those products, and you compare the sound probably to this, they're not going to be the same. The sound quality and universal audio stuff is just amazing. The Killers recorded their album completely on a Mac using that, so it's really nice stuff. So my next video is gonna be the PC for this project, and then we'll see how everything works together and if it's a total thumbs up. I'm Elric, thanks for watching you guys. Down below we'll have a link where you guys can check out more stuff about this or even check out more videos online about the UA Arrow. Peace.